Is smell paper or synthetic paper better under my single row? And here's a picture of felt paper. Howdy ho, I'm felt paper. And here's a picture of synthetic paper or underlayment. Look at me, I'm synthetic underlayment. They both serve the same purpose and in most places they're required by code. So make sure you check your codes. Also notice that all manufacturers require it in order to get the upgraded warranties. Its purpose is to repel water and it's basically an emergency backup system for your roof in case the wind comes through and blows some of these shingles off. At least you have something underneath to protect it. So which type, felt or synthetic paper, should you be using under your shingle roof? Well, here are the cons of uh, felt paper. They're the cheaper option. It's different thicknesses. There's a 15-pound felt and a 30-pound felt. One's cheaper than the other. One's stronger than the other. But essentially, they're pretty much cheaper than synthetics. It tears easy. Yeah. I've been on roofs where I've been walking on it. And when you step on it, it tends to slide down a little bit. Even, even though you got it nailed, it's a little unsafe. So also in, as part of that, you don't want the paper to be ripping. You got rips in this paper. It's underneath the uh, shingles after you install the roof. But what happens when that shingle blows off? There's a, there's a cut in the paper. You know, you got a ripped piece of paper. You know how water just goes right through that. So it's not beneficial. When you're on these type of roofs, if they're not covered up re real quick with felt paper, it tends to wrinkle. And that wrinkle, especially when it gets wet, but it tends to wrinkle. And then what happens is you get a little bit of uh, wave. You can get a little bit of wave with the shingle on top. Even though it doesn't really make sense, I've seen it happen. Here's the pros of felt paper. They have been around for ever. I think 1903 they started messing around. I don't even know. I'm just making up a date. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But every time I tear off a shingle roof that has felt paper underneath of it, this stuff looks like it's almost brand new. It's just got some dirt on it. So it lasts forever underneath the roof. So that's the good thing about felt paper. If correctly installed, you know, no rips, no tears in it. It just, it just lasts forever. Uh, here, here are the cons of synthetic felt. It's typically more expensive than felt paper. So that's, eh. I mean, it's, it's a little more money. It depends on what version. Again, there's, there's uh, equivalent 20 um, pound papers and there's the other higher end ones that have perm ratings and all kinds of crazy stuff, but it's more expensive. So here, that's the only con I have. So, to, to synthetic paper. Here are the pros of synthetic paper. They're less prone to, to wrinkle when they're exposed to the elements. I told you so. See what I'm saying? They're harder to tear and they're more durable. So if you take one of these synthetic papers and you try to rip it apart, it's super hard to get uh, to rip. You can rip them and again, there's different, um, there's stronger ones and there's cheaper ones. There's a range of synthetic felt. So you, if you wanted to get a cheap synthetic felt, just use tar paper. But if you want to use some of the upgraded, the, uh, the higher end, middle range and higher end synthetic felt, felt papers, that's where, you know, they're pretty tough to uh, rip apart. They're safer and lighter for us workers. Uh, I think a roll, it's probably four feet where you, you have the other ones, which are typically three feet. Do 10 square in one roll where we can only do a, a square, or it depends on what kind of felt paper you have, but you can only do a couple square on a um, felt paper. And on the synthetics, you can do almost 10 square. It's actually a, definitely a lot lighter. So it's, it's, it's easier for us, safer for us, lighter for the workers. You know, we're on a steep roof. Why do we want to be lugging around? It's already bad enough. We got to um 90 pound bundle of shingles that we're throwing around probably a couple times dragging it down the roof bringing it back up you know we want to we want to do this so that it's easy for uh, the installers it's lighter it covers more area uh, you got less seams on the roof and that's my second point to this is basically less seams less likely for leaks there it is the winner between felt and synthetic paper 
on a shing under a shingle roof should be synthetic underlayments. Not sure why people are still using the 15 to 30 pound felts underneath. Talk to a lot of contractors and they're like, we use felt all the time. Cool. I just, I don't get it. It doesn't matter to me. I've been using it for, I don't know, 15, 20 years. And uh, this stuff's been awesome. I don't have any problem with it. It's, it's a lot safer, a lot easier. There's a lot of more pros to it synthetic felt than there is to the pros on the uh, 15 pound, the real felts, the non-synthetics. So what do you want to ask contractors? You can probably want to ask them two questions when they're at your house and they're giving you an estimate. You should probably say, what, are, uh, what underlayments are you using? You know, can you tell me what you're using? And then what are they called? And can I get a manufacturer's warranty if you use that with my roof and you know most people are going to be able to answer that question the ones that don't if they answer you don't need underlayments then um punch them in the face because they well unless they're in canada i don't know why they don't use underlayments up there but if they're down here and, they, and you ask what underlayments you're using and they say i don't use underlayments then just punch them right in the mouth if they answer i'm not really sure what it's called the underlayments that i'm using and so, you know, this is what you do. You take their pen, their paper, their jacket, you go to the front door and you throw it all over the lawn and you kick them the hell out of there. Mm. You know, don't waste your time and money with that person. It's gonna save you a lot of time and money. Sometimes I like to say, adios, loser.